All right, guys. Today I'm going to use Zero NOS Lite, which is the younger and lighter brother of Zero NOS Core. Now remember, Zero NOS Core and Lite are not intercompatible. Their settings are different. And whatever I do in Lite is unable to be done in Core and vice versa. There may be or may not be, but as I know, most people could not try out my Zorin OS core videos on light. So this is the first time and I'm going to do tips and tricks on this in my other videos. But before that, I need to know the lay of the land. So we, have, we are going in, checking out settings before we start. This is what you should do also whenever you test out new technology is to check out the settings to know capabilities before heading in. So first of all, you can see I have three of this Pop OS, Zorin OS and Volume in my desktop is because I have installed all these three and tested out. So I have all this video up. You can check out right now. So let's begin. In the start menu, when I press the start key button on my keyboard, it opens up start menu, which comes to my mind, this is following the Windows layout. If you test it on the core version, start menu opens up like Mac OS stuff. So this I think would be more focused on Windows layout. All of these are exactly the same, nothing much. I would say this is the basics. I'm going to focus more on these two because these are more towards tips and tricks I can do. So here in Zorin Appearance, there is two types, Windows 10 version or the Windows 7 team version. So you can go to Teams and you can choose your own application, which are exactly the same as core. In the Zorin, you can choose whichever highlighted color you prefer and you can choose the background, right? Here's a desktop, you can turn it off and the fonts. So basically this is quite simple. So if I go into settings, now as you can see, there are more stuff to do here. This is why I would always check out the settings and the Zorin appearance in order to know their capabilities even in all Linuxes, all right? So about me, you don't have to bother, there's nothing special. In the appearance, you can see it is almost similar to tweaks that I've done for other, for other Linux on Windows or Mac OS team. So they already have similarly to tweaks where I install that is similar to jailbreaking where it creates or opens up the dev developer settings. So here you can see there are extra settings which already installed, which come to my mind, maybe this is more focused on Windows because I can customize everything from icons to fonts to settings. So here all will be done in my next video. Wallpaper is kind of basic. They have a style. What is this? Oh, look at that. They actually change. They actually zoom and zoom, uh, actually zoom out or zoom in, which is quite cool. You can do that. I'm not sure Core can, but yeah, this is able to, which I can play around. Menus, okay, well, we can do it next time. The icons, so these are all the settings that I could do, even have default icons. So, yeah, all right, so let's go to menu editor. I think this is for hiding or unhiding your start menu. So, basically, if I were to show you this accessories here, let's hide this and save it and you see it's gone so if i were to unhide it and save it it's here so this is how you change you add in your menu 
start menu shortcut panel right so in panel you have some special stuff for your panel let's see automatic higher panel so basically this is for the bottom here let's see does it work no it's not it's not doing anything nope so it doesn't do anything for some reason but lock okay yeah this works but the others doesn't I'm not sure why but yeah we can try it out later on dark mode uh, it's already on dark mode so yeah you see nothing is working here okay so yes I guess once you've changed something in appearance they're all forced to change so the rest will have some problems syncing to each other then window manager alright this maybe is for your window here I guess so you can choose to focus either focus follow the mouse or not so yeah, this all can be changed. Natural session and start up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, advance. Right, so just to show you, I installed any desk, but I did not do anything here. For some reason, it's automatically added the any desk inside here. Kind of similar to how Windows does it. So I don't know, I think they are really focus on windows in Xeran OS Lite and here it's almost similar to core which you need to know the commands and I think we can install main menu to put in exactly the same as how core does it are done oh wait settings editor basically I think this is more towards a advanced user where you know where is it and what to change which I would not uh, recommend any amateur or novice user to touch the settings editor unless you know what you're doing onboard preferences what is this dot to screen edge the layout teams snippets keyboard auto show so I guess this is that's what I said this is more towards Windows so they give you all the functionality of Windows and they allow you to configure the back end of this system so yeah I guess that's it thank you all for watching famous cyberamus signing out remember to like subscribe and share below is my previous videos to the center is my other videos and to the side of it is my playlist of my previous and future videos that is to come <laughs> so check that out and thank you all for watching famous cyber signing out what?